and welcome to Kitchen Craft Live. We're so excited to have you here every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With me today, I have a lovely guest that I'd love to introduce to you, who is a health coach, and her name is Bree. Welcome, Bree, to the show. Thank you, Rebecca. I'm so happy to be here. Hi, everybody. My name is Bree Palmer. I'm a health and wellness coach, and I help people lose weight and double their energy without having to give up all their favorite foods. And that's why I love Kitchen Craft Cookware. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, we're so honored, delighted, and just blessed to have you with us. Thank you so much for joining us. She's going to give us a lot of amazing tips throughout the show, so stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. Tonight on the docket, we will be making acorn squash roasted in our um, oven to table pan, which you will love. And we are also making pork and apples in our 12 inch skillet with cover. So exciting. We'll have a discount cookware opportunity at the end of the show. So stay tuned. You might really enjoy what we're cooking with. I want to get it for a really good price one night only. And we also have a contest. You want to tell us a little bit about the contest, Bree? Yes. So a quick contest reminder before we get started. Remember to send in a picture of a meal that you made in your delicious cookware. Mm. And you have a chance to win a mini chopper. Just email it to contest at cookforlife at uh, cookforlife.com. This is your mini chopper. <laughs> I love that thing. Right? Uh, Isn't it amazing? It's amazing. Ah, <laughs> just perfect. You can chop so many things with this. Thank you so much, Bree. And we actually have a winner who submitted her spinach and tortellini mm -hmm. recipe. Oh, yes. Yeah, so good. And we are so excited to send you one of these little mini choppers. Yes, we are, because you can do veggies, you can do fruit. I'm actually going to cook, or cook, <laughs> I'm going to cut and then cook our apples with this bad boy right here. So, our winner, if we can get a little drum roll, <laughs> is Miss Kathy Johns. Congratulations, you are the winner of of a wonderful kitchen craft cookware mini chopper. And thank you so much for submitting your recipes. So don't forget to give those to us. We'd love for each week for a new person to come in and show us your recipes. All right, excellent. So I guess we'll go ahead and get started without much further ado, right? Let's go. I'm ready. I'm so ready to eat, to be honest. I, I right. can't wait. I know. Yeah, we are ready to eat for sure. I don't know if we've eaten, either of us have had dinner. So we're hungry. We're going to make some good food for you. So to get started with that acorn squash, mm. yeah, here it is actually have it in our oven to table pan which i would like to tell you just a little bit about before we get started because as, as you know kitchen craft cookware makes the best cookware and bakeware and this is one of our newer additions that's so versatile because you can heat it up in the oven pastas casseroles mm. whatever you desire right and put it on the table and it's going to stay warm or in the inverse you could put it in the fridge. Isn't that crazy? That's uh, awesome. Yeah, keep it cool. So you could do things like three bean salads, anything, or cooler pasta dishes. Yes, yeah, do some spaghetti squash, one of my favorites. Amazing. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Bree. She's like a, a, a library of knowledge with food. I'm so excited for you guys to have her here. <laughs> You're so lucky. Uh, so with our acorn squash, what we do is cut it in half. I went ahead and did that for you. You did not want to see me laboring over the <laughs> cutting, <laughs> cutting the acorn squash. That was a whole uh, <laughs> television episode in itself. Um, but cut it in half. And uh, Chef Jessica, who also is joining us tonight, and Josh behind the scenes, so thank you guys so much. She'll be answering any questions you might have. Give me a, a pro tip. She said to cut the bottom, and you can cut the top. That way, when you're cutting it in half, you have a more stable ground to work with. So so we cut it in half and the next step of course is to take out those seeds and I know Bree you know some good facts about these seeds that we're actually I'm gonna put them on a plate so that we can save them because they are quite valuable I think I'm, I think I'm gonna take those home because <laughs> these seeds are kind of like pumpkin seeds what you can do is just roast them and they're a magic snack, what I call a magic snack. So they Ooh. have protein, fat, and fiber in those seeds, so highly nutritious. You don't want to throw those away. Go ahead and rinse them off and roast them up and eat them like pumpkin seeds. Ooh, that yeah. sounds so good. Oh my gosh. A little olive oil, a little salt, pepper. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I got to know from you and the audience, what are some ways that you like to cook? Because this is considered a winter vegetable, I guess. Yes. Yeah, they're in acorn squash are in season. 
Okay. Yes. And the great the great thing about <laughs> in season, oh my gosh. <laughs> you gotta you gotta make a mess in the kitchen, right? Or else you're not no, doing no, it right. Get in there. Get in there. You gotta be a little more aggressive. <laughs> Yes, no, acorn squash is amazing, especially this time of year, because like I said, mm. it is in season, and when you eat in season produce, it has a lot of different benefits. For example, it's fresher, it's tastier, mm. and it's more nutritious. That's the most important part. So eating in season, you have more nutrition from your food oh. than if you consume it out of season. So, and if you can, get it from your local farmer's market, and that's going to be the best produce that you could ever get oh true it's good to support those local farmers absolutely mm -hmm. so i will let you take this with you yes, <laughs> Not now, but take that <laughs> yeah and you know what i was just thinking you know we have gourds uh, actually behind us we have a gourd but do you know if an elephant stepped on it what it would be called a gourd <laughs> an elephant stepped on you got me rebecca what is it <laughs> you know what? I should have gotten that one. Yeah. That, that, I, I should have gotten that one. That's oh, funny. Man. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. It's a bad joke. I tell them every week, I say, you know, I've got bad dad jokes. Bad I'm jokes, not, I'm not yes. A, I'm not a dad. <laughs> <laughs> so please tell us the way that you would like to prepare your winter vegetables. We'd love to hear from you guys. Mm. So the first step, I, I mean, that's not really the first step because we should preheat our oven to 400 degrees which we already did and then we cut it in half we make sure we take out those seeds and then we'll actually drizzle a little bit of olive oil thank you i have like a sous chef today this yes. is fun <laughs> about i would say uh, you know a teaspoon it's up to you and if you want to brush this on you can but if you don't have a brush hey a spoon will do so i'm going to do that work with, with what you have in your kitchen right absolutely so let me grab my spoon back Next, we're going to take a little bit of maple syrup, mm. maybe about a tablespoon of that. And these recipes you can find, thank you, ma'am, on kitchencraftcookware.com. Great resource for all of this. And, of course, this oven to table pan, you will love it. You, once you see how this came out, oh, my goodness, it's just beautiful. Keeping it warm <laughs> so we can taste it and it's going to be amazing. All right, next, we will take a little bit of cinnamon. Actually, we'll do uh, about a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Awesome. So you just want to sprinkle that on there. This is very fall forward. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's okay. Usually you want to distribute it evenly, but... Nothing wrong with a little extra flavor there. You Thank know? you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes. It's like, it looks delicious. Absolutely. It's like Bob Ross. No, you know, happy accidents. Yes. There you go. All right. I, I want to be the Bob Ross of cooking. I figure this is all. <laughs> you just got to go with it. It's like life. All right. Next, we are going to sprinkle some salt. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Got to have a little salt with your sweet, right? Yes. Balances the flavor out. Just a little hint there. And you want to make sure everything is nicely distributed because you'll actually baste this 30 minutes in. You'll take your juices and distribute it again but we are magical and we actually have some finished acorn squash for you Ooh. in this beautiful oven to table pan that if you don't have it you will love it so here is what we have the final product mm. i know <laughs> is it time to taste yes it? is it time <laughs> not yet not quite but we will we'll we'll definitely get you once we finish those pork and apples i know I know. So I'm going to set this aside, mm. but as you can see, then they turn out so beautiful, so healthy, right? Just, just yes. so many great reasons to eat this acorn squash. Yes, yes. Acorn squash is also a great source of fiber. I didn't mention mm. that. So that promotes healthy digestion. So a lot of great things about acorn squash here. Lots of nutrition, antioxidants. Awesome. So wonderful carbohydrate. Ah, so good for you. So did the audience say anything about how they like to prepare winter squash? I'll check in real quick. As a matter of fact, Marvin pokes, um, Marvin! Yeah, he pokes in the board, puts butter and sugar and roasts it in the oven so it's sweet and tender. Mm. Oh, that sounds very good. Welcome, Marvin. We love you here at Kitchen Craft. It's, he's our faithful, comes every week, so we really appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. 
Awesome. Any other ways of cooking? Not quite yet, but if you think of some, put them in the chat. We'd love to hear how you cook your winter. It could be butternut squash or acorn squash, any of those squashes. <laughs> Which, by the way, <laughs> yeah, you don't want to hear this one. Why did the lemon cross the road? Mm. I have no idea. Why did the lemon cross the road? Oh, <laughs> he wanted to play squash. <laughs> more squash jokes all right so we're gonna move on <laughs> for Bree's sake and for yours we are actually gonna make pork and apples mm. so I preheated our 12 inch skillet with cover you love this it's roomy you can make all kinds of great stuff with this and to test to make sure the medium-high heat is ready to go we're gonna sprinkle some water I'm actually gonna just cup some in my hand Let's see. yeah this is a good trick to see if it's ready Ooh, that water is dancing I think it's time. I think it's ready. <laughs> it is mm. ready to go, right? Yes, those chops look good. Oh, yeah. Nice and thick. You got some fresh pork chops. So you can put as many. We're putting four in there. And this recipe, again, is on kitchencraftcookware.com. And you can put it straight into... Oop, we're beeping. Hopefully it's okay. <laughs> I might have I preheated it too soon. It's confused, like, yeah. <laughs> are you going to use me or what? Uh oh, I'm hoping. All right, we're hoping it all. I've never had this happen before. You know, live television, you never know what's going to happen. What does E6? E6? What does E6 mean? I'm guessing it means I probably heated it up too soon and I didn't put anything on it. But all right. we're hey. hoping it'll go back. This is induction. It stopped the, oh, you got to yeah, put push that piece down right there. Thank you. Right. Yeah, put that down. Right. Oops, I got I a little too close. <laughs> Can I just say, I one of the things I love about Kitchen Craft Cookware is how you're able to just put the meat directly in there. You don't need to add any extra fats like mm. you normally do with other cookware where you have to add in the olive oil, hopefully avocado oil. And it's great because meats like pork especially or your chicken thighs, they already have plenty of natural healthy you know, you fats in it. Yeah that are really good for you and if you're trying to watch your calories and watch your That's fat true. intake like I do, it's great that you're able to just put it right in there without those added calories and without that added fat. No grease Absolutely. needed. Absolutely. Yes, yeah, so true. That's why Kitchen Craft is, is so beautiful. It's helping you have a healthy lifestyle. Yes. So we're going to do a little salt and pepper on these. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, it still says E6. We'll see. Our Should little we turn induction. it off and turn it back on, maybe? We could try it. Let's see. I feel like it needs a little extra, like, frying power here. All right, let's do that. Okay. Let's do it. Oh, oh there, yeah, there it is. <laughs> I love these induction induction surface, uh, surfaces. Like, mm. They heat up so quickly. They use the magnetics. They only work with high-quality cookware. Right. So don't try to put your stuff from China on here. It's not going to work. Not gonna work. Oh, and we do. We need to show them the bakeware, which we can oh, show yeah. them. Yeah. Do you want to do it right now? Um. Yeah, I guess we, we could. Yeah. We gotta let this. You gotta let it brown on one side. Oh, so yeah, let us sure. show you. I meant to show you this while we were talking about the oven to table pan to show you just how sturdy our five ply surgical stainless steel, yeah, bakeware is because we have a weight here. Uh, to show you, if you just use a regular old, maybe bakeware, yeah. I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, yeah. cheap. It sounds cheap. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, let's do it. So, what about a half a pound there? Okay, so not very sturdy. It's going to warp. It's going to buckle. It's not going to last you a lifetime. Of course, we have a lifetime warranty so and great customer service. You're not going to have evenly cooked vegetables or cookies yeah. oh. in there. Right, don't want to do that. Not for the holiday. The holidays are coming up. You need perfect cookies. Yes, <laughs> to bring. and brownies. Right, absolutely. <laughs> so this should be over, whoop, I'm spinning around. A little over two, two pounds. Yeah, so definitely, oh. definitely <laughs> high <Sorry>. performance <laughs> bakeware. Absolutely. All, All right. right, I'll go ahead and Thank get rid you, of this Bree. for you. You're welcome. I got All my right. little alarm here. All right, for the for the pork chops, absolutely. Well, once we flip it, I'm going to put the timer for that for us. All right, so I'm just going to take a peek and see. Usually if it's ready, if it's browned, it should turn pretty easily. And I will let it go. Give it a little bit longer. Okay. A little longer there. <laughs> right, we'll, give it, we'll give it a little more time. We'll give it a little more time. 
I do. I have something for you, Brie. <laughs> what do you? Oh, don't tell me you have another joke. <laughs> Maybe. All right, let's go. Come on. What do you call a pig that does karate? I just, I just have a, a picture of a pig with a little, little belt on, a little black belt on. Aww, but I don't, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> <laughs> you call it a pork chop. <laughs> oh, that's too cute. Oh my god. There we go. There, there you go. You go for the day, Marvin. <laughs> Anyone watching? And we, I would love to hear how you guys um, enjoy pork chops, if you have any recipes, or yeah. if you have your 12-inch skillet, some things you put in there, because it is huge. You really could do enough for a family, you could have leftovers, the, the sky's the limit on this. Marvin, I think you guys should punch on that punch on. Oh, what really? do you say? He, said he knew! Oh. He's a smart cookie. <laughs> he's a smart. And he does karate, too, I think, or some jiu-jitsu or that's something. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a martial artist. That's why, that's why he knew. He knew. That's he why knew. He, he probably knew. heard that joke already. <laughs> uh, we tried. Oh my Thank God. you, Marvin. Yeah. What do you think? You now? Hey, maybe, let's check it. Let's see let's if it's got it. a nice right. little brown on it. We'll see. It should lift easily. Well. <laughs> hey, it could take maybe another another minute or another so. Another minute, because it's not another lifting minute or so. Okay, yeah. we're going to give it another minute. Yeah, um, yeah. I love, I also love that the pork chop is really the star of this meal. We have the mm. pork chop, we have the apples, and we got the acorn squash. So we have a wonderful balance of protein from the, the pork chop, we have fat from the pork chop, mm. and we have fiber from the apples and from the acorn squash. So this is, if you add some greens in here, let's say, I would love to have mm -hmm. some, some collard greens, yeah, some spinach, yeah. maybe yeah. some cream spinach, right? That's a good some idea. Spinach. Yeah, so that'd be great. If you add some greens in, this, this is what I call a magic yeah. plate. A magic plate. Yes, these are boneless. These are boneless, yes. Yeah. Definitely. That's and I love that they're yeah. boneless because it's kind of easier to eat there and you got more of the, the delicious protein with that. Oh, I think they're, yeah, they're, they're ready, ready to, to turn. I think, what do you think? Ready to turn? I think ready to turn. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, we're gonna turn them. So we're then you turn, turn, they should turn, lift turn, up turn. From the pan. There we go. Yes. So good. But a magic plate is kind of like a magic snack. You have the protein, Ooh. fat, and fiber, and some vegetables, mm -hmm. hopefully as well. And this helps to balance your blood sugar, which is really important for if you have any difficulties with fatigue, mm, mood swings, like you have food cravings for, for sugar or for salty. Those are the main cravings I see. And also, if you're having problems with weight gain, creating a magic plate is going to help balance your blood sugar mm. and it's going to help with all of these things. It's the number one thing you can do to help yourself feel better and get healthier right away. And that's the main thing that I talk about with my clients. Oh, so. Wonderful. Oh, such good information. Thank you for sharing that. Definitely. So the next step in our process is actually to put the apples on top. Let's so I'm gonna, Yeah, I'm going to yeah. chop up some apples. With our mini chopper, it makes it so easy. Check it out. We're going to do these in eighth. So really, I don't know if you can see it from here, but we're going to yeah. do, um, whoop, might have gotten too close to the core. <laughs> do around the corners and then half it. Just like yeah, that. Yeah, you don't even need to take out your cutting board here. Whoop. <laughs> here we go. And we're going to cut here. Whoop. Yeah. Put that on the air. Apples are kind of like the butternut squash in that they're rich in fiber and antioxidants. So these are also a, a wonderful sweet treat that's going to help to balance mm. your blood sugar. So balancing your blood sugar, I may add, helps to lower the risk of diabetes, heart disease, and cancer, and it may oh. help with weight loss. So that's awesome. These so are a good. wonderful addition to this meal. Very healthy, very clean whole foods. This is what I love and this is what I, I teach my clients to eat more of. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. I mean it really starts in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. um, food is uh, medicine really and truly. Yeah. We have to watch what we put in our bodies. All right real yeah. quick. Thank you Bree. Mm -hmm. We're going to put some Apple pie spice, yeah. We're gonna sprinkle that across there. With the finger? Oh, do it with the finger. Do it with the finger. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, that's it. There it is. That's that's the magic. You gotta give it a little pizzazz. Yes. Bam. Bam. That's why Bam. Bam. There you go. There you go, girl. You got it. I oh, think you had it in you. Got it. Thank you. All right. Now we're gonna cover. 
All right. This is where the kitchen craft magic happens. Yes. We're going to heat this, this pan, heat up the temperature to 180 degrees. Yep. And then we're going to, we're going to turn it down. Yes. So we're waiting for the, um, <laughs> the top, <laughs> the top is going to be able to spin. Yes. But it's, we're not yeah, there we gotta, yet. We got to wait a little bit. We got to wait a little bit. Once it reaches 180 mm -hmm. degrees, we're going to have a vapor seal. The vapor is going to start escaping. And then when we turn it to low, it's going to create a vapor seal. The wonderful thing about this is that it's kind of like a little miniature oven. It cooks from the bottom up, sides in, and the top down. That's what's different about kitchen craft cookware from other types of cookware. Mm -hmm. And it's actually going to save you a lot of energy because you have a little oven on top of your stove. Um, right. So you're going to save a lot of energy because cooking on your stove on high is equal to six burners or cooking in your oven is like cooking six burners on high mm -hmm. so with this wow. we're going to be cooking at a lower temperature which is also very beneficial because we're going to be locking in the nutrients and the flavors mm -hmm. and we're not going to be killing the fiber so yes and you reminded me thank you for saying that it's like a little oven because in this skillet here you could make a cake on top of the stove which would save you energy if you don't want to heat up your house with the oven, and, uh, you know, all the energy it's going to expend. Mm -hmm. You could do a pineapple upside down cake, a chocolate cake. There's just so many possibilities right on your stove. So cool yeah. in the skillet. Absolutely. I've done that before. I made a yeah. little little blueberry blueberry cake in there. Ooh, it was delicious. Oh, that sounds really good. Mm -hmm. We'll have to do that next time. Yeah. <laughs> I used a little keto uh, cake in there, so it was sugar free as well, and it worked out really well. Just in case you're interested mm -hmm. in that. Yeah, a lot of people are on that keto diet. Let's see. We're not spinning Ooh. quite yet, so we'll give it a second. Not quite yet. I do want to know if our audience. Um, it gave us any ways that they make the pork chops? Did we get anybody giving us some feedback on how maybe they would prepare pork chops? Because I know some people do it different ways. You can grill them, you can do all kinds of stuff, right? You know, I like to take my pork chops and I'll put a little breading on it. Mm. And, and fry them up. Well, you do need the oil probably for that. But, you know, every now and then you got to treat yourself. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's okay every now and then for sure. Yeah, you, do. <laughs> you do, you definitely do. It tastes really good like that. All right. We're still, we're still. Yeah, we're still heating up. All right. We do have a contest that uh, we'd like to share with you. Uh, normally, we tell you after we cook our meals, but we want to just go ahead and get you excited so maybe you can submit. Yeah, yeah. Submit. So, yeah. All you do is just send a picture of you and your cookware, and you can win a 9 by 13 baking pan Ooh. on December 6th. Ah, that's so how so exciting. About that? That's yeah. a great value, too. Oh, my gosh. And that, you'll love that 9 by 13 baking pan. It is versatile. So please, just you, your cookware, you can smile. Just put it at any angle. It doesn't have to be, you know, glamour shots. <laughs> I'm dating myself now. That's back in the 80s and 90s. But yes. Oh, it smells really good. Can you smell right, that? Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, I there hope you can is. see That's that. That's exactly what we're looking for there. Okay. Right there. So we're going to turn it down, and we're going to... Create that vapor seal. Mm -hmm. It's right so now. cool, isn't it? I love how it just turns on its own. Woo! I mean, yes. <laughs> it really makes cooking fun. Mm -hmm. You could just entertain yourself <laughs> just watching that. <laughs> Like a little UFO, but yes, low for about 10 minutes. So I yeah, so let me go ahead and start start our timer here. Perfect. For 10 minutes, so we can have our perfect chops here. Yeah. Oh I my gosh. I can't wait. Oh yeah, I know. We're all hungry. These are gonna it's taste so good. Really good. So <laughs> good with that acorn squash that we made and everything. The cool thing about this too is you can put it in the oven. It's got the pistol grip. You could even tilt your lid to the side. I won't show it now because we want to let the pork chops cook a little more. But it's just very comfortable. Everything is safe as far as, you know, you know how sometimes some cookware, it's made of metal or something, and you go touch it, and you're like, ah, you burn yourself. But right. this, I can touch it all day. Right. So, so wonderful. What temperature did we turn, what did we turn it down to? We should have it on low. This one's okay. a little different. It actually shows the temperature, but yeah, oh, low. Oh, fancy. Yeah. And every, <laughs> <laughs> no, ooh, la, la. And, but every stove is different. Some people have gas, true. electric, so they have to, it's a, it's kind of an art and a science where you got to figure out how it works yeah. with your with your stove top. But the lid really helps. So you just got to watch and you got to spin that lid and just check on it that way. Absolutely. So any nutrition uh, benefits to like the pork and the apples that we don't know about quite yet or protein? Or 
you know, like like I said, it, cooking this way with the Kitchen Craft Cookware with that patented vapor seal, it's locking in the nutrition, locking in the flavor, the vitamins, the minerals, and artery cleaning fibers. So, which is very, very important because so many people, unfortunately, are dying of heart disease, mm. especially in this country. We have what you call a death of the artery. So mm. we want to keep those fibers in the food. It's Specifically speaking here in the apples, we won't want to overcook our produce because you're losing sure. a lot of the nutrients mm -hmm. when you overcook yeah. your produce. We don't want to overcook our produce because we want to get all of that mm -hmm. nutrition right. and we want to keep those artery cleaning fibers very, very important. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And that I think that's the beauty of Kitchen Craft is we try to cook the vegetables to a degree to where they're not overcooked and you're yeah. losing all the nutrition. It's like, what? Yeah. yeah, this is not just pots and pans. This is a healthy system of cooking. And that's exactly why I am all in with cook, with kitchen craft. This is my this is this is my choice for my family because we want to prevent these different diseases. Mm -hmm. Many people believe that diseases run in your family. No. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it is a lifestyle. It is a way of eating that runs in your family. Mm -hmm. So Beyond that, even if you're cooking the right foods, you're eating the right foods, you unfortunately are still not getting the full nutrition from your foods if you're not cooking them in the right cookware or you're cooking them in right. the cookware that's going to allow you to keep all the nutrition from your food and have all the benefits of eating healthy food. So that's why Kitchen Craft takes it to the next level. Mm -hmm. And we absolutely, I love that. Thank you, Bree. It's, we've had so many stories, testimonies of customers. Oh my gosh, it's just hundreds if not thousands of people who their health and their lives have been changed due to cooking the Kitchen Craft waterless way, no oils and butters. Uh, Mary Hoyt, for example, love her. She lost like 70 pounds, came back from two bouts of cancer, just in perfect health, amazing. I, I just, I call customers from during the day and I get a lot of stories about people yeah. that say they've lost weight or they've bounced back from any sort of different diseases and malnutrition. Definitely good for diabetics, of course, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is just a good way to have a good healthy lifestyle of course what else is touching your food aside from the cookware your um your oven's not touching it your microwave's not touching it, it people don't really yeah. think about that but your cookware is touching your food so you want it to be the best that you can get for you and your family and of course with the lowest butter oil fats possible i mean a little fats are good for you yeah, right yeah yes yes natural healthy fats but you don't want to go overboard because like i said Fats are very calorie dense and we don't want to go overboard with the fats, but some good healthy fats are really, really good for your energy mm. and for helping you to reduce those cravings. Right. And a little bit more about why it's so good for diabetic. Going back to that fiber, mm. not only is it cleaning out your arteries, but it's helping to slow the digestion of the sugars that are in your food so mm. that your blood sugar, back to the blood sugar, is staying more balanced. And that is the thing that you need to watch out for with diabetics, that oh, you're not wow. spiking your blood sugar too much, you're not having too many highs. I call it the blood sugar roller coaster. Mm. When you eat some carbohydrates, your blood sugar goes up mm. and then it comes crashing back down. When you're up, you feel may feel anxious, you may feel jittery. When it goes down, you may feel that fatigue. You, this is what causes uh, mood swings. This is what causes those energy dips in the middle of the day. We were talking mm -hmm. about this earlier. Yeah, 3 p.m. <laughs> yeah, 2 3 p.m. Yeah, when you have that, that mid-afternoon <laughs> crash, that's because yeah. maybe you had some coffee early in the day. Yeah, maybe you had true. some carbohydrates true. without mixing it with some protein and some fats. It's, it's healthy to have all of these things mixed together, kind of like we have in this meal. We have protein, we have fat, and we have mm. fiber, and that is what keeps us on a more even keel, and that mm. keeps us having energy throughout the day, makes you just feel better overall. It honestly changed my life. It's wow, changed my, my, really? my client's life. They've lost weight. Mm. They just feel better. Mm. I, it's, it, I, can't, I can't say more about this, but you're able to retain the fiber in this cookware, and that's why it's so special to me. Oh, I love that. I love that it's personally affected you and mm -hmm. wonderful. Well, do you think we can at least peek and see? I know we got a few minutes. We got, we got a few minutes here. You have any more of your jokes? <laughs> I'm out of jokes, guys. I'm out of jokes. 
It's so funny because normally I do improv and they tell you no jokes. So it's like a no-no. Really? No. So I have to look up jokes. Yeah. Yeah, the what? funny, you don't um, force the funny. That's what they say. I yeah. didn't know that. It's just naturally supposed to happen. Yeah. All right. Acorn squash and special price. Oh, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Uh, if you guys could see behind the scenes, you'd love it. It's a whole other show. Uh, so basically, we are going to give you the oven to table pan for a nice mm. discounted price. Yes. Um, but uh, is that time? Are we going to do that before we show them? The jelly roll books? <laughs> Our finished product. Aha. Uh -huh. We're good. Uh -huh. I'm ready for it. Is this time is it time to eat? Normally we would do this at, <laughs> Oh, we're so close. Normally we'd do this right. part after we eat, but we're gonna go ahead and since we're waiting on our pork. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tell you about the special discount purchase opportunity, which we do every show if you come Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here at the Kitchen Craft Waterless Cookware Facebook page. So normally this oven to table pan, which again, can keep things hot, can keep things cold. But remember, if you keep it cold, you got to put it in the fridge first and then it'll keep it cold. And same with the oven. You're going to put it in the oven. It'll keep things warm. Put it on the table. Perfect for Thanksgiving coming yes. up. At yes. the end of this month. I can't believe it's November already. Oh, my gosh. Um, so this would be great for the holidays because you just want to have your stuff. And, oh, my gosh. Baked feta pasta, which we made in the office in this. Oh, mm. it was so good. You can just Google that recipe. It sounds good. So, good. so easy and so good. So normally, this would be $159. But today, we have a special price. You get it for one nineteen. <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah, really great discount. Mm. All you have to do is go to our website, kitchencraftcookware.com, and type in the coupon code oven one one one. So it's oven o v e n one one one. So you go straight to the website, kitchencraftcookware.com, and you'll see. And once you put in the oven to table pan in your cart. You'll see a place where it says coupon code and you'll just type in the word oven 111. And if you have any questions, reach out to us, of course. You can send us a message or you can always reach me, Rebecca, at cookforlife.com. But I hope you pick up one of these. Marvin, I'm looking at you. <laughs> He's on it! <laughs> we love you, Marvin. Um, awesome. You will love it. I promise you that. This thing, it is so Dirty. I don't know if you can hear that, but this thing is not going anywhere. It'll probably be here long after the earth yeah. <laughs> fades away. <laughs> like cockroaches. I mean, this is basically <laughs> the cockroach you cook with. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> I'm so sorry. See, there we that go. That smells so joke. good. You just, it's I'm not so fair. <laughs> this is not fair. All right. So we're just we'll about, put it to the side. We'll it's put it to the side. You're going to let it stay in here for me to smell? <laughs> That's not right. We're so close. We're, we got, we're we got seconds, four, away. seconds. We're seconds away. We're seconds away. Pretty soon, I'll be able to just gobble I all know, of this. Up. I know. We're so close. <laughs> Hang in there. <laughs> oh, right. did you did you by any chance wash these? We want to wash these right before we touch them. Again. I should get a different one. Yeah. Let Do you me, want me to wash it for you? As are we, you as sure? You yes, I can help. Aww. I'm here to help There's you. There's soap underneath. Otherwise, we might have other ones. I got. I got. I'm I gonna got. end up peeking if you leave me. I yeah. am the most impatient. It's, I think it's about time. Once it. Okay. I think it's about time. I'm, I'm gonna, a very I'm impatient cook. It so it go All right, so let's see what we got. And I can show them the cool lid technique if you ever want to. Oh, yeah, there it is. Look at that. Sometimes you don't have space in your kitchen to put your lid. You're thinking, where do I put it? I don't know. Aha! Kitchencraft <laughs> thought of that and took care of that for you. Just put it on the side. I love this. Because the other day I was cooking and I had the same problem. I was like, ha-ha. I can put my lid on the side. I think these look beautiful. I can't wait for you to see this brie. Oh my gosh, check it out. Mm. And it also makes a trivet. I could stick this on top if I wanted to as well. Look at all that juice. Right? We didn't use oils, butters, anything. So it let's, smells so good. Should we plate it? I think we're ready. To, thank you so much. Let's go. So your apples can be a nice little side dish or you can eat them with the pork. It's totally up to you. We're gonna give Brie now. It's time. Peter wants to know what else you can make on that oven to table pan. Oh my gosh! Mm. Besides that amazing baked feta pasta, I'm telling you, that's the one. Google it. It's like a TikTok recipe or something. Oh that's, yeah. That's the one. Uh, <laughs> I love TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Uh, see, I don't do TikTok, but Robin in our office told us about that one. You could do casseroles, pastas. 
I mean, chicken. I would I would do some chicken breast or some chicken thighs in here with a little olive oil, some lemon juice, some butter, some onions, maybe some green peppers, and put that in the oven around 425 for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so. Because the chicken breast cooks pretty quickly, but that's that's what I I love I love making chicken breast mm. every week. Great source of protein. But I would definitely do that in here. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I mean, really, it's whatever your imagination, the possibilities are endless, whatever you would put in the oven, and then take it out to your table, oven to table, as they say. So, can I anything. go ahead and go for it? Uh, okay. I'm excited to All see. Right. Normally, I don't have anyone here to taste my cooking, so I'm usually gonna, it's just me going, oh, I did a great job. Let's see. Oh, do you want me to cut your peas? You cut your peas? Oh, you um. Yeah, you can cut your own piece. You yeah, yeah, I got, got it. <laughs> Professional eater. <laughs> All, All right, right, we'll see how this see. goes. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because I think it's, I think we're good. As long as there's no pink in the middle, you don't want any pink in your pork. I think we're good. Yeah, awesome, amazing, amazing. So the pork turned out really well, and that was so quick. Did you see? It took us maybe a whole of maybe 15 minutes total just to put it on there, sear it on one side, mm -hmm. flip it over, cut our apples. Season it, put the lid on, 10 minutes, you're done. Mm -hmm. A quick and easy weekday meal, I would think, for, for you and your family. Definitely very easy, very good. I love the, the cinnamon, or was it apple pie spice? Oh yes, apple pie spice for the pork and then cinnamon for the acorn squash. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure about the apple with the pork chop, you know, sweet and savory, but it's really, really good. Awesome. Really delicious. Thank you. Yes, oh. good job, Rebecca. <laughs> good job. We did it together, too. We did. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was a solid <laughs> high five. There it is. Awesome. Can and I go ahead and try? Yeah, this dig into the acorn I really have my eye on. I really yeah, wanted right. a piece of this. All right. So good. And Let's good see. for you. You can't beat that yes. when something tastes good and it's good for you. And that's what we uh, here at KitchenCraft want to impart is that you don't have to deprive yourself. A lot of these things, you can make them super flavorful and you're still going to get your nutrition. You're still going to get your health benefits. It's good mm -hmm. for you. So, oh my All gosh. Right. Okay. Let's Let's see acorn this. squash. <laughs> perfect for fall. All of this is perfect mm. for fall. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's good, good flavor. I love that it uses maple syrup too because that's a natural, natural sugar and it's amazing. Good job. Yes, thank you. Tasty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And I'll have to have a bite here in a bit. Yes. But I think that concludes our cooking segment. I, I think everything turned out pretty well. And our lovely oven to table, which again, you can use the code oven, O-V-E-N, 111, on kitchencraftcookware.com to get a discounted price of 119, normally 159. And next week, if you stay tuned, come back, please tell a friend, share this. Please share, 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 like, comment. We will be here 7 p.m. like every week, Tuesday nights, Eastern Standard Time. We'll be making salmon. Ooh, very good for you. Yes. And green bean almadine. <laughs> I like saying that. That's fun, right? It's fancy but easy. Healthy, easy mm -hmm. stuff. So, all right. One last time, I do want to give you a little look-see into what we made. We made our roasted acorn squash. I'm hoping you can see that on the close-up cam and our oven to table. And we also made this lovely pork and apples in our 12 inch skillet with cover. Very versatile. These things are huge, great for the holidays. So take advantage of that discounted price. Any questions we have before we wrap up our Kitchen Craft Live with special guest Brie, which has been such a treat. Oh my gosh. No questions today. If you do have any, of course, reach out to me, Rebecca at cookforlife.com, or continue to comment. We check those. Even if you still, if you catch this maybe after it's live, you still have plenty of time, you know, a day or two. I mean, hey, we will honor it. Just let us know. Of course, you can go straight to the website too and use that code as well. All right, I think that's everything, unless there's something else we want to add before we say goodnight, goodbye. No? Oh, yeah. I, think that, I mean, I was just going to add that I tasted the apples back right. I taste the apple. The apple is really good, it's not too overcooked. Good job. Thank you. Very Thank good. you. This has been <laughs> such a pleasure. Thank you for joining me in the kitchen. Thank you for joining us in your homes. 
We are so thankful for you. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your night and a happy holiday is coming up and uh, happy cooking. All right, have a good night, guys. Good night. All right, bye. <laughs>